Last year, the Hayastan All Armenian Fund celebrated its 20th anniversary. The road traveled by the fund is an inseparable part of the biography of our independent homeland. Parallel biographies that in almost equal measure include the difficulties and the challenges we have faced and overcome, our victories, and the pan-national response and responsibility we have manifested. The 20th anniversary celebrations, coupled with the unchanging principle of the fund, became a festival of reports in which every school opening its doors, every water pipeline delivered for operation, every renovated hospital and cultural center reopened, has commemorated our past, present, and future love and dedication. The Hayastan All Armenian Fund has commenced its 21st year of operation, which as always is replete with projects that both maintain the country and build the homeland. In 2012, the Hayastan All Armenian Fund managed some 20 projects to build and renovate water supply infrastructure systems in five towns and 13 rural communities in Artsakh. Truly, water is life. Without water, life is difficult. I know this quite well because in Yerevan, where I live, this problem was solved a year ago. So I understand how hard it is to get by without water. The water supply systems in the towns of Stepanagert, Shushi, and Marduni were achieved with generous donations from Armenian benefactors in Russia. Armenians in the western region of the United States generously donated to make the same project in Hadrut a reality. Through donations from the fund's U.S. Eastern Region affiliate water pipeline was built in the village of Garmir Shuga. The Lebanese Armenian community assisted in solving the water issue in the neighboring village of Sarg Sashin. Armenians from Uruguay, Argentina, Brazil, and Cyprus and the Armenian Relief Society joined forces to solve the issue in the village of Karin Duk. With donations from the French Armenian community, water supply systems were built in the Artsakh villages of Hardashin, Aknakhpur, Uhtadzor, Toh, Varankatar, Madadashin, and Getavan, and in the town of Karvachar. In 2012, all the fund's projects in Artsakh were completed with the assistance and joint financing of the nagorno karabakh government. The largest completed project in the education sector was the renovation and repair of the Khachadur Abovian school in Shushi. In recent years, Shushi has seen visible improvements thanks to the efforts of the Artsakh government and Hayastan All-Armenian Fund. With donations from Armenian benefactors in Russia, this school not only provides favorable conditions for its students, but also instills residents of Artsakh's second largest town with much needed hope for living and working. The school was totally renovated. You saw the terrible state the school was in? The school has also been provided with quality furnishings. A new building for the school in the Artsakh village of Gishi has been constructed. In terms of its aesthetics and conveniences, it's on par with the finest educational institutions in Stepanagert or Yerevan. The conditions and furnishings in the building are beyond reproach. The differences between the old and the new are too numerous to mention. During the Artsakh war, Residents of the Vahuhas village in the Martakert region had been forced to leave their homes. A mere one year later, due to the bravery of Armenian soldiers, the residents returned and made their ruined and burnt village flourish again. Today there are 140 students in Vahuhas. But given the number of young families and growing birth rates, the school was built to accommodate 240. I believe the new school places a new responsibility on our shoulders that we strive to work more effectively in the future. The trade school, built in Shushi with the proceeds of a will left by French-Armenian benefactor Yeznik Mozian, is one of the largest projects realized in the education field. The two-story building, spanning some 4,000 square meters, was built to accommodate 225 students. The French affiliate of the fund is building a new kindergarten in the village of Sos. Some 60 children will receive a preschool education and care here. This is not only a gift to the children, 
but the payment of a debt to those who courageously defended the village and continue to maintain it today with a great deal of difficulty. Beautiful achievements embodying our care for the children, the future of our people, were also realized in Yerevan and communities in Armenia's provinces. The boarding school kindergarten in Yerevan's Shengavit district was completely rebuilt and renovated. It's where children of needy families receive daily care and where preschool boys and girls spend their afternoon hours. Today, a totally new world has opened up for me. Just imagine, we now go to work happily and our work has become more productive. The attitude of the kids has improved as well. This is the gift of the Fund's Great Britain affiliate. Pupils at the number 30 kindergarten in Vanadzor received a similar present. Here, with donations from Armenians in Greece, a modern heating system was installed. One year ago, the kindergarten's rooms were furnished and a new playground was built with contributions made by Greek Armenians. The fund is building a new school building in the Shirak province village of Ashotsk. This building, financed by French Armenians, has four annexes, of which two are educational facilities, one for sports, and the fourth will serve as an activities hall. Right now, 292 students are enrolled at the school. This number can rise to 360 to 400 given future growth rates. Residents of the Tavush province village of Ditavan say their community's future development depends on the existence of a new and well-maintained school. The new school building, built with a generous donation from Argentine-Armenian benefactor Armen Exerjan, promises a bright future for the community. What is left for young families? If their children get an education in a new school building, that's a major reason for them to stay and live in the village. With financial assistance from the Armenian community of France, the fund has partially renovated the Mezrop Mashtot school in the Aragadzodan village of Oshagan. The doors and windows have been replaced and a modern heating system has been installed in the elementary classroom annex. The most significant educational project realized by the Hayastan All-Armenian Fund in 2012 was the creation of computer classes. The fund, in joint cooperation with the Indian Embassy in Armenia and the Vartanyan Ner Fund, has provided computer equipment and furnishings to 19 towns and 53 rural communities in the Tavush province of Armenia. The pediatrics unit at the medical center in the southern Armenian town of Gapan has been completely renovated with proceeds from the will of British Armenian benefactor Garabed Nazarian. Now there is a central heating system, and the furniture and medical equipment has been replaced. It is unique in terms of its facilities and services. Every year, some 500 children will be treated there. It was totally in shambles, both the seismic and wall reinforcements. We spared no effort to make it right again. I can't even point out one minor flaw in the construction. The maternity ward in the Gotaik province town of Abovian has been renovated with a donation by Montreal residents Verej and Imastuhi Nikorosian. This is the second project undertaken by the benefactors. Before this, the operative and post-operative units had been renovated. Individual birthing rooms were also built. An anonymous Canadian-Armenian benefactor financed the renovation of the nephrology and dialysis unit at Yerevan's St. Krikor Lusavorich Medical Center, which can accommodate up to 80 patients at a time. The new building of the Marduni Municipal Hospital is being constructed with joint financing from the fund's Eastern U.S. affiliate, the Union of Armenian Physicians in the U.S., and the Artsakh government. The building will house a polyclinic, a diagnostic center, an emergency unit, surgery and therapeutic units, an infectious disease unit, and a maternity ward. With a donation from Armen Shahazizyan, a Russian-Armenian benefactor and owner of the Louding Company, the Stepanagert retirement home has been renovated from top to bottom. Resident rooms are now fitted with individual showers outside, the cafeteria has been renovated, and the kitchen given its own space. A central heating, ventilation, and fire monitoring systems have been installed. 
I hope that this haven for senior citizens serves its function to the best of its ability and that residents find kindness and care within its walls. All necessary conditions for this objective have been created. A similar project, financed by an anonymous Canadian-Armenian benefactor, was built on the third and fourth floors of the Nork nursing home in Yerevan. With contributions from the Armenian community of Germany, the Gyumri Children's Home has been totally refurbished. The institution cares for 120 children with limited capabilities. Conditions of cleanliness, ventilation and heating, comparable to the highest standards, have been created. Yesterday, staff members told me that due to the renovations, they now have a workplace that they love coming to every day. With a donation from American-Armenian benefactor Hrair Hovnanyan and joint financing from the Artsakh government, a boarding school kindergarten is being built in Shushi. Shushi is the love of our Armenian people. For me and for all Armenians, the body cannot live without love. I am very proud of this project. It's an excellent one. With financing from the funds branch in Toronto, the Shushi Educational Cultural Center has been rebuilt. It houses the Mugardich Khandamirian State Theater, the Varanda Children's Choir, painting, needlecraft, and ballet clubs, and the folk instrument ensemble. The 450-seat auditorium is being renovated with resources from the Artsakh government. In 2012, the fund continued its community development projects in Artsakh and the provinces of Armenia. New community centers were built in the Shushi village of Medz Shin, Hadruts Drachtik village, and Shiraks Pavra village. In addition to offices, the buildings house a medical station, library, events hall, and a computer room. The agricultural assistance project in Tavush province continued with financing from the General Council of Eau de Seine in France and the French Armenian community. Due to the joint efforts of our compatriots in France and Argentina, a new irrigation water system was constructed in the Tavush border villages of Aigehovit and Vazashen. Last year, the fund provided assistance to the children of fallen and first-level disabled freedom fighters. Under the auspices of the Ororots project, clothes and other essentials were distributed to newly born children of needy families in border villages. With financial support of the Bohosian Foundation, President of the Republic of Armenia prizes were awarded to noteworthy individuals in the sciences and cultural sector and to young artists. Turkish human rights activist and publisher Raip Zarakolu and ethnographer Harutyun Marutyan were awarded the prize in the nomination Remarkable Contribution to the International Recognition of the Armenian Genocide. Last year, the government of Armenia and the All-Armenian Fund focused their attention on Syria. Many Armenians fell victim due to the ongoing, well-covered developments in that country. Many families relocated to Armenia. The problems they faced were numerous and diverse. The issue that the fund took on was the tuition program of Syrian Armenians studying in Yerevan universities. Thus, the All-Armenian Fund rounded out the 20th year of its existence a 20-year road full of sacrifice and dedication. 20 years of history built on a firm foundation of unity and responsibility. When we Armenians pull together in unity, we can move mountains. Just like we did at the Battle of Sartarabad and during the Artsakh War. In both, Armenians faced a foe that was better armed and ten times greater in number. Dear friends, the reason behind the tremendous and unbelievable success of our fund is the same. These words by Vahe Jazmadarian may be considered emotionally charged, but neither are they an exaggeration. In 2012, 
as in every year, we have witnessed and participated in the festive holidays of Pan-Armenian dedication and responsibility. The Moscow Gala Dinner, the Pan-European Phonathon, the Los Angeles Telethon broadcast throughout the world, all these have proven and still prove that the Hayastan All-Armenian Fund is a steadfast house full of hope and that Armenians are a loving and united family.